Highlights of the 2023 annual Enniscrown and District Agricultural and Industrial Show is brought to you in association with businessman Eddie Lavelle of Leeds, Mayo and Sligo. Culture over culture, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Well, it's nice to be back in County Sligo once again for the annual Enniscorn and District Agricultural and Industrial Show, which attracts families and visitors from all over the west of Ireland. Jerry Gritsey here, lovely to be back here at the end of Scorn Show. Uh, you've changed things around a little bit this year. Yeah, Henry, we have uh, changed to a different field. We were the other side of the road last year, and um, we just thought that um, putting it all together in one field, it, it helped it, you know. And uh, I must say a big thank you to the GA. It's their field we're using here, and uh, fair play to them, there's no problem with it. And a big thank you to Noel Gallagher. He's our local chairman and all his executive group. And, and what was the reason for that, Jerry? Well, it's just to, to bring it all together. And uh, the, you won't be crossing back and over, over the road, you know. And the other field was a, a little bit wetter, you know. And um, this, is, as you can see, is a great dry field. And that was the reason, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of uh, entries in all the, the cattle, horses, sheep. We have the All Ireland um, sheep competition down the, the Texel sheep competition this year so that I'd like to say thanks to them as well for choosing in a strong show this year you know they, they go around to every show and I'd like just to thank them for uh, having it here this year yeah and there seems to be a great interest in the sheep uh, yeah, we were down there earlier on and there's huge interest in it yeah there's a there's a big a big lot of sheep down there compared to any other year you know this I think there's over a hundred pins down there so and obviously Jerry, as you know better than anybody, to put on a show like this costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money, you know, a lot of money, but thank God only for sponsors, you know. And um, I'd like to say thanks to the government as well, the Minister Helen Humphreys, yes. Um, they gave a million there last weekend, fair play to them, they're supporting the shows and a big thank you to them as well, you know. And you've, you have a main sponsor for the show yeah. this year as well. He's a good friend of mine, John Cregan. He uh, came on board this year and fair play to him. He's the main sponsor this year and he li he's over in New York. He's four different businesses there, restaurants and pubs. And if anyone is in New York, I'd like them to try and make an effort and go and see at least one of the pubs, you know. <laughs> now, you lost one of your colleagues as well during the year, Jerry. Yeah, that was uh, this time last year before Frank Mullen. He was here with us and um, every year Frank was here. First man to be here on the gates in the morning on the road traffic. But unfortunately, Frank lost his battle last January. Well, the first one came here this morning at five o'clock. And um, there's one or two people in, I hope people don't mind me mentioning them, but there's Brendan Jones, Joe Foody and Mark Kerr. They have nearly lived here for the last week, you know. And um, everyone is doing good. and. We thank the exhibitors, the sponsors, everybody, but the effort they put in, I don't know, honestly, would there be a show without them? Can we have here is Shirley Catton, the originally came from France, the imported, came into Ireland in about 1960, in the early 60s. We feel, most Shirley breeders feel that the best type of continental cattle there is. Um, they're lean, their growth rates are over and above most other cattle. The developed muscle, they're born with very, very little muscle and the developed muscle. Yeah. Um, the very plastic cattle, the oscillation will be quite good with them. Um, we bring, uh, we're here today on a scoring show. Um, we, uh, we do them up for the shows. We use this soap here to coat to them up there. What kind of soap is that? That's actually so soap. And that's to, um, Come up there here and make them look 
you know. You, you really make perfume. it look good, yeah, don't you? Yeah, 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 lipstick and perfume, you know, you make yourself better yeah. looking, so that's generally what we do. No, you're a judge for the sheep uh, shows, uh, and how's it been going so far? It's going very well, we just have one class done, it's a young handlers, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's lovely to see the young folk out, and the future the future handlers, and, so, and uh, the lad that won it there, he is a future show and sheep, all right, and he's going to play one. And what did he have that was different than the others? Well, he looked apart, it's the first thing, you have to look apart and you have to, you uh, had to present the sheep and how to ship should be standing and uh, I just stood it was a class A's own just it was a very easy one and uh, as soon as it comes to the ring you could see that it was going to be the, going to be the one. Um, so my name is Caitlin Burke and I'm from Bunny Conlon. Um, I'm 20 years old and I'm currently in AIT in Athlone studying sports science and exercise physiology. And how did you get involved in becoming the Queen here? <laughs> um, it's a bit of a long-winded story but um, to shorten it down, my auntie, she's um, a part of the committee here and um, she just asked me and I said, sure why not, we'll give it a go. <laughs> It was my first time ever doing something like this and it was uh, definitely nerve-wracking to say the least. <laughs> There's a great bunch of people here in the community as well that help you out no matter what you do. So it's, it's been lovely being a part of it and um, being a part of it today is just it's a great feeling. We have events to go to during the year as well. Like we, Mainly we do um, events within the community in Innisgrove. So like I was a part of the parade for Paddy's Day and stuff like that, so it's nice to get a couple of a couple of outings with the crew. So uh, Minister Grissy here in Innescore, you're officially opening. Uh, the show, of course, is mainly in your backyard. It must be very special for you. Ah, for me, Henry. I'm delighted. Delighted. Thanks to the committee for the honour of doing it. Uh, it's very much in my in my backyard. We're just in the road. Um, there's fantastic work gone in here. I want to pay tribute to all of the committee, to Jerry and everybody involved. When you see the setup here uh, and the entertainment that's lined up for people, um, every there's something for everybody. Literally. So it's delighted to be here and. But shows are so incredibly important right across Mayo, right across Sligo, right across the West. They give a chance to, for people to come together to showcase the best of uh, animals, the best of our produce, best, literally, you know, the best of community. So that's why the government, we've invested significantly in shows this year to support the running costs. But um, it's really, really buzzing here now. John, you're very welcome to the End of School and Show. Lovely to have you here. Um, why did you get involved in the show? Well, uh, I know Jerry for many years, and we started a business in New York together, Beans Pub. And we were together for a few years, and then he decided to come back to Ireland. And he's, and he's living in Castle Connor now. And he got involved with the GA and um, a lot of local community stuff. So he started on the show a few years ago, and he asked me, uh, uh, well, this year I used to give a few tickets here and there and different things. And uh, he asked me this year if I'd be interested in doing a little sponsorship. And I said, why not? You know, because it's, it's, it's given something back to the community as we have purchased a house here in, in Escrowan. And uh, we just came back. We're back here for a month. And it, it's great. It's a great opportunity. And we have other 
bars in New York, uh, myself and my son, and uh, myself and my son has Jack Doyle's, John Sullivan's, and then my son, myself, and uh, John McCrory is a, a normal lad. We have the Taylor Public House, all in New York City. And uh, we're, we're there now, and uh, I come back here a couple of times a year, and I wanted to give something to the community. Uh, you're originally a Leitrim man. Leitrim man, yeah, my wife is Mayo. And uh, as I say again, only for this man, Jerry Curley, I would not be involved. <laughs> Well, it's uh, 1947, Fortson E27 Inn, or the High Nelly was another nickname on them. Uh, it'd be about 42 horsepower and uh, Basic tractor, pedal, TVO. That particular tractor doesn't have a lift arm on it or PTO shaft or anything like that. Just has a pulley, and they used to use them a lot for thrashing and all that type of work. And you could pull a plow, but it'd be a wheeled plow that you'd have on it, you know. Chairman of the Western Region of Dywa Shows, and I've been involved in Dywa Shows for many, many years. And just here as a representative for all the shows in the Western Region, that's what I'm here for. And yeah, try for the good of them all. And it's important that we do have good shows because one show helps another, no matter how you go. And what you'll have is an exhibitor here in Castle Connor in a scrum today, and, and he will get a prize. It might be a new exib uh, exhibitor. And he will come to Bellinair, or he'll go to Cross Malina, he'll go to Eris, or he'll go to Bunny Cannon to see how will he get on. And there's people that comes out today, and since the COVID, they may not, they were they weren't going out as much. And the likes of these shows are they bring a lot to society, they bring, get people out talking and bring them back in again. <laughs> Ox Mountain Wagyu is, uh, is a, it's, Wagyu first of all is a Japanese uh, breed of animal and originates from Japan. We brought in all our genetics from Australia which uh, where they've got all of their genetics originally from Japan. So the key thing about Wagyu is high marbling beef. Which means? Which means that it's high, the, the marbling is intermuscular. So in a traditional beef you'll find your meat on the outside. But with Wagyu, there's a high intensity of marbling inside of the meat itself. It's got a low melting point, which means when you put it on the pan, it starts to cook the meat around it. And that's, that's essentially what it is. So, this, this is your horse? She is, surely, yeah. What's her name? She's called Luna. Luna, yeah. Yeah, yeah we got her. Uh, three. She's only three, yeah. We got her last year, last summer. Okay. Yeah. I used to be big into horse riding, but I'm more into show now. I prefer show ponies, so, yeah. And how I see you going with a cup. What happened today? Yeah, so she won her class unexpectedly. We didn't think she would. She was being very bold. And then she went and won champion young pony at the show, so we're delighted with her. 
really, really happy. To be honest, today we didn't realise she was going to even win Efton, like anything, you know. We were just bringing her out for the day out, you know, because it was our first show this year, so she's came on a lot for us, so we're very happy with her. We're only doing a few shows with her, but as long as she behaves herself, we don't mind. And is the competition high? Yeah, there was a lot in her class. So she was in a high class of eight, a very strong pony, so, and she was the smallest pony of them all, so. Yeah, thanks a million. So this is the Muddy's train. This is the Muddy's train. It goes up round Muddy Burns and comes back down through the show. The kids, uh, it's a big hit with the kids. We go around on all aspects of the show, down to the cattle, the horses, the sheep, and we come up through the novelty stuff, the dogs, and up through the model farm and uh, round by the um, all the different uh, things in the show. So uh, it's been a big hit since we started five years ago at uh, the Scorn Show and uh, it's sponsored by McHale's Farm Machinery which is mighty, I'm very appreciative of it and the uh, buggies themselves come from um, the Ballina uh, Salmon Festival Committee or the Chamber of Commerce and uh, it's, it's mighty, we, we nearly didn't have it this year and it was a big disappointment for all the kids but we finally got it across the line and uh, so you're going around all day with... We're going around all day now, we're just um, going to go to all the... Round, round all the different parts of the field. And uh, each spin is about five minutes and the kids just love it. And uh, you also have your show dance tonight in Muddy Burns. Show dances in Muddy Burns with John Malloy, which is a big hit. John is very uh, popular and uh, people are ringing up all week. No one wondering when, what time John Malloy is starting at and uh, yeah we're looking forward to a, night, a great night's uh, entertainment when all the pressure is off and all the work is done and we've all tidied up. And well we wish you well with it. Thanks very much Henry. It's my first time appearing here and I'm delighted that I did come because it has been very, very successful and numerous callers for the boats and for all I produce, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very interested in all the outdoor activities, you know, yeah. It has been going very, very well, yeah. There's such a variety of things going on and they're all going on at the one minute. So it's very, very interesting. Humble beginnings in County Sligo, Colony and um, uh, it's very easy for me, I've been brought up on this uh, with the donkey and the cart and the ponies and all the rest of it and uh, it's great and sure when you keep people happy why not? And do people, I presume you get people that come to you and they remember like the, the cart and the donkey bringing home the turf? Absolutely you know and that is rewarding in itself Henry uh, that it even brings myself back. I remember my own dad, you know, and every day I go out, you know, I remember him, you know, this is to remember him. And yeah, you're rightly what you say, people coming back. There was a lady there, got her photograph. She had um, a little donkey and creels and turf, a wee little toy. And we reenacted the whole picture again for her and she was, she called happy, happy customer. They are the smallest of the smallest, you know, that and of course the little donkey, as you see there, that's the smallest working donkey in Ireland. The small, well, as you can see, uh, the height of it, and I do believe that is the smallest little pony um, that's over there in Ireland as well. Hi, in fairness, yes, it was a good year again now this year, and after I suppose the success of last year, as I say, it's hopeful now that that every year will hopefully be as good as this one now. I'm very busy with, with different festivals and I suppose there's, there's a couple of dances and things I got during the, the summer as well but 
I've done a lot of bike festivals now this year as well for the first time. So uh, the likes of Cowboys and Heroes and all these different festivals. And then I'm back uh, again on Minolte Steam Freshen Festival, which is another big one for me now this year as well. So I'm looking forward to it. And it's fantastic to be back here to participate in the show here in Corbola. And of course, the, 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 the show has taken a different road to what I knew when I was a young lad uh, in Inniscrone. We went there when, from years and years ago. And now it's incorporated with Corbola, uh, again, that place that holds a lot dear to me. I went, went to school there and I also helped to erect the carnivals when they used to have it back in them days. And uh, then it gave us dancing. I liked the old dancing. It gave us dancing uh, for the whole week while the carnival was on. And it made a great week and it also was a cheap week. Delighted to be here. Thanks for having me, Henry. I'm delighted to be here. The rain seems to be staying away. I was wondering when I left uh, Kildare this morning, I looked at the weather and I saw it was going to be a fine day. So, so far, we're looking forward to it. It'll be a great day. It's great to be able to, to do to have the variety, you know, whether it be a dance or a theatre or a church or an outdoor. The great thing about this here and, and festivals like this, Henry, is all of the family can come along. Sometimes the, the, the younger people, they can't go to everything, like the dances and everything, but this is from, from 9 to 90, everybody can come and we can meet the whole family and they have a great dance floor here and the, the music has started, Gavin Gribben is warming up the crowd and, and there's, a, there's a brilliant crowd around, it took me 20 minutes to get in, so that was a great sign, so looking forward to it. Yeah, this is the festival time, you know, we obviously we do the dances all throughout the year, in the early part and the latter part of the year we concentrate on the concerts and churches and theatres and and then we've just been in Spain last week and we're in America the week before. And, but July and August is the, the festival time. I love it, I love it really. As long as we have the fine weather. I mean, we're covered in, but for the people out on the dance floor and sitting on the bales of hay, as long as the rain stays away. But I do, I love it. I lo it's a great buzz. It's great to have the variety. Last night we were in Tyrone at a dance. Tonight we're here, we're doing a concert next week. So it's great to have all the different, the different varieties, yeah. I have a new album coming out. This year what I've decided to do is, I haven't the title yet, but I think it's going to be, we've started it, it's going to be Michael English sings the million sellers or the number one, not by me of course, by all of the different artists all over the world. The uh, all of the, the popular songs that people love to hear. And that's what I want to do this year. I, I've always wanted to do an album like that. And so that's what we're concentrating on this year, Henry, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit once again to Enniscrone in County Sligo. Congratulations to Jerry Corley and his committee on another wonderful and successful show. So, until next week, at the same time, Sligo before. Highlights of the 2023 annual Enniscrone and District Agricultural and Industrial Show is brought to you in association with businessman Eddie Lavelle of Leeds, Mayo and Sligo.